Oops. Good evening. <clears throat> Welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. And I've got a fun topic tonight. It's going to scare some people, upset some people, and hopefully enlighten some people. Um, before I get to that, let me introduce myself formally. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which is why these talks are called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. Today's is number 330. There's a lot of these out there. I'm getting good practice at this. And every day I've seen a different topic. It apparently seems to be more than just one thing about love and relationships. Surprise, surprise. Today's topic came out of a conversation with a friend today. Um, she, knows who, she knows who she is. She may watch it later on. Um, because it was coming up in a conversation about how men cha- have a challenge committing. And what hit me was that truth be told, and I'm going to be blunt about this, that whether it comes to staying or leaving, a lot of men are scared to commit either way. And what I mean by this, and I'll explain what I mean, the breakdown of this, but the reality is there's a thing that men have that runs subconsciously. And I'm speaking about most men, not everyone, but most men is there is a fear a fear that if they commit to a relationship, actually I'm getting too far ahead. Let me back up a second. Don't want to jump ahead too fast. So let me read out what I mean by directionally speaking. So when it comes to relationship romance, let me put the context in this. Many men, when they are offered the prospect to get into a committed relationship with a woman, will be scared in some ways to commit to go in. At the same time, they'll be scared to commit to leave. Like, Committing in or out, that wasn't the word I used, but I used another word, but it'll come back to me. Either way is scary for men because, and let me give you the reasons why, because that's probably the biggest thing you're waiting for. When a man commits to go in, sorry, when a man is not willing to commit to leave, as in, and let, let, sorry, I need to, I need to give, I'm doing some jumping way ahead. Let me give you back some context, sorry. So, ladies, you're dating a man and you have romantic, you have romantic relationship, you, you kiss, you make out, you have deep, passionate kisses and intimacy and that sort of stuff. You have sex and he's wonderful. But when it, wants, when it comes to commitment, he won't commit all the way. As in, he won't say, let's be together as a couple. He will keep like, a foot out the door. You know that feeling? That's what I'm talking about. The other side of it, for those of you who have been in a relationship with a man disappeared on you, and I mean like ghosting, like totally vanished on you, and this will speak to ghosting in a way, is I'm just so I'm framing this. So let me speak to that part first. So men who basically aren't willing to stay, but also aren't willing to commit to saying I'm leaving and cutting it off, that's because they're scared that they might be losing out on something. See the thing is there's fear on both sides, and let me give you both pieces right now. So for the men who are afraid to fully commit to leaving who won't cut it off and say, I'm done, they won't decide completely, is because they're afraid that they're missing out on something they think they have. It's like they've got something beautiful in their hands and they're, they know it's not the right thing, perhaps, or they think it's the wrong, not the right thing, but they're not willing to give it up just in case it could be the right thing. So there's a fear of letting go. So instead, they just disappear. They'd rather not say to you, I love you and I appreciate you, but I need to say goodbye and over. Most, a lot of men, some, now some men are bold enough and clear enough to say this, but a lot of men aren't willing to say it's over. They'll just disappear. And fade away until you won't even know that they left. And so you go, where did he go? That's one reason why. One reason, not the only reason, but it's one reason why. On the other side, the men who are enjoying your relationship but not willing to commit fully in, and have one foot outside the door, the reason for that is because most men, well, a lot of men, I won't say all men, but a lot of men, are just afraid of making the wrong choice. And I'm only up to this for myself. I have the, I've had this experience before on both sides. So let me be clear. I'm speaking from personal experience. And I know, I absolutely know, that the majority of men out there have done the same thing or have felt the same way. So ladies, this is educational for you. So again, the second part. A lot of men aren't willing to commit all the way into a relationship. They want to keep one foot outside the door because something better may go by. And as crass as that sounds, we're always looking for the better, best, the, sorry, the best option. It's like there's a thing inside of men a lot of men, it drives them for the, to find the better thing. Now, that's why some men have been married four times. Why a lot of men go through many, many relationships. It's, it's a challenge for a lot of men to settle into one relationship. And the challenge is they think they're settling, which is the mistaken approach. And I'll get to that in a moment. Because being in a relationship 
means to exclude everybody else. Now, I'm talking about monogamous relationship. I don't talk about polyamory in these talks because that's not my focus or my audience or my um, subject matter. So monogamous relationships. When a man commits to being in a monogamous, monogamous relationship, he's excluding everything else. Ideally, he is anyway. So I'm not talking about those who cheat. That's another conversation entirely. So by the fact that they're not willing to... Well, sorry, the fact that they... Don't want, don't want to give everything else up, the opportunities, the possibilities, everything else, that's one reason they won't commit fully to you. And it's partly because they don't know how good it is. Now, I'm not saying it's anything you need to do, it's something men need to do. So for us men, the realization is, and this is the easiest one to talk about, but for a lot of men, the challenge is how do you, how do you fully commit to a relationship to the exclusion of everybody else and be happy with that choice? And this is the key. For a lot of men, that choice seems to be having to choose between black and white and not, not, not being sure which one is the right one. Choose in or to be able to choose something else. To have availability because something else may happen. Now, I went through that for a period of my life where I didn't choose to be in a relationship because I kept seeing beautiful women then I see a more beautiful woman or a more beautiful woman. And I'm just being totally transparent. It was challenging for me because I didn't know at that time myself fully to be in a fully relationship. This is going back 15, 20 years ago. There are many men who are still dealing with that. So on both sides of the conversation, both being unwilling to commit fully into a relationship and unwilling to commit to fully leaving a relationship, there's reasons why this is challenging for men. I'm not saying it's good or bad, just saying what is. And for you ladies, it may help you understand what drives in us. So I'm actually going to edit the title about ghosting because I didn't mention that as well. This disappearing act that men have is that unwillingness to fully declare that they're out. It's, it's a... Part of it's tied, sorry, I just got a PS to that part. For a lot of men out there, there's a piece that's tied to being wrong. As in, they don't want to be wrong, they want to be right. So if they say goodbye and fully, fully declare they're out of the relationship and then look back and go, oh crap, I want to really be with her, they feel wrong. And we don't want to be wrong, we want to be right. Same thing as well committing into relationship. It's fully done, staying in relationship, being committed one on one, monogamous relationship. There's this fear of making the wrong choice. There might be a better choice out there that we didn't know we, we, we didn't know at the time, and we're scared we might lose that choice because we committed to the one that's the wrong one. And I'm and I'm, I'm being blunt about this, but the reality is, these are the drives inside of men. Now, ladies may have something similar. I don't know as well. I just know what I watch from watching the women I know dealing with the men they've been dating, as well as there's. I, I'm trying to lean into that one. No, I'm leaving that one alone. This is about the men. I might do another about the women. We'll see as I interview more women and work with more women as clients. I may have more data to work with, but I don't want to make assumptions. This is what I know about men from watching men over the years being one and having been around other men. I've learned this. So hopefully this is of education to you and hopefully some inspiration and maybe insight to your current, future, and even your past relationships. Um, as I said to my friend who is um, going through this, after this breakup because this guy disappeared on her, her job, her focus has to be self-care. So if you've been dealt a blow like that, ladies, in the past, recently even, your focus has to be self-support. You can't fix it. You're going to be able to change it. If he disappears on you, there's not much you can do. Leaving 17 messages isn't going to help, just so you know, or 17 texts doesn't help. So your focus has to be self-love, self-care, self-support. And really take care of yourself. That's part of the journey of the healing. That'll also make you stronger and also make you more whole for the next time you choose to go into a relationship. But that's another conversation entirely, and I might do the one tomorrow. So, having said that, I think you got the point. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks for being with me. If you want help in this area because you're stuck, having challenges, not sure what to do, I do invite you to take advantage of me, <laughs> advantage of my time at least, which is to grab a complimentary clarity. Com clar try that one again. A complimentary clarity conversation, which is a 30-minute free. Um, discovery session with me which you can grab that for yourself get on my calendar if you go to barryselby.com and click on let's chat it's in the navigation menu bar and sign up for a session um and if you want some if you have questions thoughts about this topic please put them below in the comments i'll answer them afterwards if you know anybody should watch this please share it with them and if it's speaking to you let's talk your homework yes i do give homework every time um this actually is the second part i mentioned about self-support self-love if you're feeling like you missed out somewhere in love and relationships, put the energy back into loving yourself. That's simple. Focused, love inwardly, take care of yourself, honor yourself, respect yourself. I think you can do that. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for watching. I will see you again tomorrow.
Take care and as always, love comes first.